says for the Paw Patrol only. For Paw Patrol only, what is it? Oh my goodness, those look like Dr. Peppers to me. We are gonna have a good night. Just left Jonathan and Beth's house. They dropped us off back at uh, the Shenandoah at the beginning and we're excited to leave the Blue Ridge Parkway and start Skyline Drive. Harvey, what did you do at Jonathan and Beth's house? I jumped on a trampoline. I played a spy and I ate food and I played with my friends. So just like all the national parks we've been in so far, which is the second, it's raining on us on our first day. Welcome to the Shenandoah. Okay, Harvey, would you rather have a hot shower or a hot hamburger? Both. No, but you have to choose one. Both. <laughs> I think I'd have a hamburger over a shower. One not both. Because I had to choose. This is cool. It looks like they're planting hundreds of little trees inside uh, under these power lines. I guess they don't grow high enough to affect the power lines, but there's a lot of them. It's pretty neat. So apparently this part of the Shenandoah doesn't have much water supply at all. So um, we just passed uh, New Hampshire and Stretch and they told us that they had to go like almost 17 miles without water. I think there's some at a shelter that they didn't want to mention, but that's like 12 and a half miles away. So Cassie got um, almost three liters. I filtered almost three liters for myself and I added our whole water pouch to the back of my pack. So um, <laughs> we are cameled up. My pack definitely weighs over 50 pounds now. Um, <laughs> so we have plenty of water that will hopefully get us till late tomorrow afternoon. So we're gonna stealth camp with our water and then we'll keep going tomorrow and hopefully we'll have enough water to get us to the next water source. So Cassie was a little bit tired, so I went ahead um, to set up the tent because we thought it might rain tonight too. So we both agreed that it would probably just be easier if the tent was just set up just in case it rained. And so I went about a mile and a half before we got there, uh, took off to find a stealth spot. So here's my spot. Here's our new summer tent. In all our other videos, we had our other tent. So that's what our summer tent looks like. There's the trail, got some water here. And now I'm gonna head on back and see if I can find them. Maybe I'll carry Cassie's pack the rest of the way. What you doing over here, Harvey? Look, you're making a tower. Yeah. What are you stacking? Rocks. Rocks? Making rock towers. That's what tower making rock tower. That's a pretty cool rock tower you're making. Um, I'm eating, but my rock tower looks awesomer from clothes. Hey, <laughs> what is it? Um, the, the same rock tower. Oh my goodness, it even got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That's so awesome. Yeah, I made it bigger and bigger and bigger because I put more rocks on it. Oh man, you hiked all day, now you made a rock tower. I like it. Yeah, when it starts or when it stops raining again, we can come back out and look at it again. Whoa. <laughs> All right, it's starting to rain. Let's get in the tent. Wait, wait. So we're tucked in our tent here and it's raining outside. And the boys are watching 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> oh, I'm editing. It's raining. Good morning, everybody. Today is day 93 on our journey. Um, day two in the Shenandoahs. Uh, my brother, Jonathan, he's bringing us a resupply box at a highway that's like 35 miles away. We're gonna try to make it there uh, or make it just outside of there. 
um, so we can pick it up first thing in the morning in three days. So we have two 15 miler days today, or one today, one tomorrow. We stealth camped last night and we're gonna have to stealth camp today. And then tomorrow, if we do a new second 15 miler, we'll have a shelter. So that's our goal. Let's see if we can do it. It was so cool. We walked up this really hard mountain, but then right on top, there was like all these rocks and then an amazing view. It's awesome. So the Shenandoah's trail, I guess it's so visited that it's kind of nice. Check out this. No rocks, just smooth walking. There's a couple of steep climbs, but for the most part, it's a really nice terrain. So we decided to do 16 miles and go past Loft Mountain Campground. Now it's still early April and they're closed, but guess what? Um, <laughs> we camped just past it, stealth camp somewhere. I'm about a, probably a mile or so. And I um, hiked back to get some trash dumpage. Also water that is turned on and not, and the best of all, I get to charge my power bank, which is fantastic. I'm super excited about that. So I got a little bit of extra hiking in today. Uh, Cassie and Harvey are getting camp all com comfy and cozy and probably going to bed soon. And I get to come back with power in the bank. Good morning, everybody. Today is day 94. We stealth camped last night. We're gonna go to um, a shelter today in the Shenandoah Valley. And guess what? We're gonna pass the 900 mile mark Woohoo! 100 more miles to a thousand. I'm super excited about that. Hey, okay, so it's day number one. <laughs> that was a funny joke. Funny joke. Yeah. Not day number one, silly. <laughs> yeah, what day is it? It's day like 94. Sugar Man is slack packing and he said he dropped off something special for us in the bear box. Oh my goodness, let's go take a look. It says for the Paw Patrol only. For Paw Patrol only, what is it? Oh my goodness, those look like Dr. Peppers to me. We are gonna have a good night. I'd love to see your castle. What do you got here? So, we got dinosaur Zuma and Tracker and Dino Zuma and Chase. And yeah. The floor, and a bad guy right here. And a bad guy right there? Yeah. Hey, we're at High Top Mountain Shelter or Hut and we met Stumbles. Hey, Stumbles! <laughs> I think uh, him and his wife seen us on on uh, on trail, and you've been uh, section hiking. That's right. For five years, right? For five years, started in uh, Georgia, and uh, I've made it this far north, almost halfway. So All right. Try to make Harper's Ferry this trip. So uh, getting getting close to halfway. So. Oh, oh, good. Then we we, we got a race then. <laughs> <laughs> so, so can you tell us real quick what's your favorite day on trail? Every day is my favorite day on trail. I just I just love being out here. All right. So uh, I try to come out two or three times a year and a week at a time and, and just really enjoy it. Good morning. It's day 95. We slept in the shelter. And we meet a new friends. Yep. We had some through hikers that through hiked last year hung out with us. That was kind of fun. We had a fire. It was pretty awesome. You ready to go see my brother, Cassie? Oh, yeah. Let's go get food. All right, Jonathan and uh, his son, Micah, just brought us our resupply box. And they are letting Harvey and Cassie slack pack. How does it feel to have a backpack on? Really nice. Yeah? <laughs> How does it feel not to have a backpack awesome. on? Awesome. All right, let's hike. All right, what did you guys find? We both found two noobs. Let me see them. Don't squeeze them. 
What do you got, buddy? A new. Whoa. You gotta open up so I can see him. I think this one likes me. Whoa. Let's let him go. Thank you, Aunt Beth, for the lollipop. Hey, we met some section hikers, some lash hikers, actually. They're trying to make it from Harper's to Springer. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Elijah. I live in Richmond. Um, I've just seen their videos before, and when I started the trail, I was hoping I'd run into them, and here we are. <laughs> That's awesome. So you guys been out for 13 days? Uh-huh. All right, so we get, tell us your uh, favorite day on trail so far. Not the rain. Um, I don't know. We we stood up on Buzzard's Nest, which is about halfway through the roller coaster in Virginia, and that was that was a good time. Windy but good. Nice. Cool. Well, yeah. happy trails, guys. Yeah, you Thanks. too. Thanks. So it's Saturday, and Cassie and Harvey just went ahead to the shelter to save us a spot, and I went a half mile off the trail to a campground, to see if there's a camp store, and there was a camp store, and the camp store was filled with ice cream and sodas, and Chips Ahoy's. So, we got cookie sodas and ice cream tonight, baby. Let's see if Harvey and Cassie are excited about this. 